welcome. In this video, we will look at our first option strategy, the long straddle. A long straddle is a trade that combines two options on the same stock, a long call and a long put, both with the same strike price and time of expiration. When placing a straddle trade, usually the trader will choose an option strike price that is at the money or close to at the money. In other words, a trader usually chooses a strike price for the straddle that is as close to the current price of the stock as possible. The long straddle trade is taken when the trader feels that the price of the stock will make a significant move in price before the options expire, but the trader is unsure of which direction the price will move. The goal is that the price of the underlying stock moves enough in one direction that the profit for one option exceeds the loss from the other option, resulting in a net profit on the trade. Let's look at an example using SLV, the silver ETF. At the time of making this video, SLV is currently $20.65 per share. Let's look at a long straddle trade using a $20.50 strike price for the put and call options that expire in about a month. At the time of making this video, the 2050 call option costs 79 cents up front and the 2050 put option costs 65 cents up front. For a long straddle, the trader buys both the 2050 call option and the 2050 put option for a total cost of $1.44 up front. This means that for the trade to be profitable, the price of SOV must move more than $1.44 either above or below 2050 before the options expire in about a month. This places the break even points at 1906 and 2194. So for the trade to be profitable, the price of SLV has to move either below 1906 or above 2194 before the options expire. Let's compare a place in a straddle to just buying the call option or the put option. If the trader buys just a call option, he is paying 79 cents a share up front for a strike price of 2050. This means that for this trade to be profitable, the price of SLV has to rise not just above 2050, but above 2129 to cover the cost of the option. If the price does not rise above 2129, then the trade loses money. If the trader buys just a put option, he is paying 65 cents a share up front for a strike price of 2050. This means that for this trade to be profitable, the price of SLV has to fall not just below 2050, but below 1985 to cover the cost of the option. If the price does not drop below 1985, then the trade loses money. If the trader places the straddle trade, he is paying $1.44 a share up front for the strike prices of $20.50. This means for this trade to be profitable, the price of SLV has to either rise above $21.94 or drop below $19.06. Comparing the straddle to just buying the call. The call costs less up front and the price of SLV doesn't have to move as high for the trade to be profitable. However, the straddle may also be profitable if the price of SLV declines, yet the call can only be profitable if the price of SLV increases. Comparing the straddle to just buying the put, the put costs less up front and the price of SLV doesn't have to drop down as much for the trade to be profitable. However, the straddle may also be profitable if the price of SLV increases yet the put can only be profitable if the price of SLV decreases. Straddles are usually placed when a trader feels that the price of the underlying stock is about to make a significant move, but they are unsure of whether the move will be up or down. Sometimes traders will place straddle trades in the days leading up to an earnings report or economics announcement, hoping the results of the report or announcement causes the price of the underlying stock to move significantly in one direction. However, it is important to remember that during these times, implied volatility increases. This causes an increase in the cost to buy the options, meaning that for the trade to be profitable, the price of the underlying stock must make a greater move in either direction. So that's the long straddle trade. In the next video, we will look at the long strangle trade. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.